All right, let's not. Well, that's why I pour, that's why I take my taxes, but I got good performance. Let's not. So when you have to, how to solve an equation using multiple I'm steps? Like, I don't like her. <laughs> so we good? All right. First thing we've talked about, guys, we do this in steps, right? I told you guys to take out a note card and write down these steps so you can always use the steps. First thing is to simplify both sides. Are you making a video? Yes, I am. Okay. So, yes, I would appreciate if you're a little bit quieter. So, um, when you have to simplify for both sides, obviously, guys, look at the right side of the equation. There's nothing I have to do right there. It's already as simplified as you can get. Over here, however, I got a lot of stuff going on. I have a fraction, 4 fifths. I have times a parenthesis, x plus 15. And I got um, 12 minus that, and I got a 15 inside there. It's pretty big. So first thing I do is I know what I'm simplifying. And you need to use my order of operations. So I all I have is um, a distance, subtraction, multiplication. So I know I have to use multiplication first. And since I have parentheses, I know now I have to use distributive property. So since multiplication is first, I'm going to have to multiply 4 fifths times x and a 4 fifths times 15. Now I'm just going to kind of do a little sidebar. 4 fifths times x, guys, we just write as, sorry, times x, we just write it as 4 fifths x. It's the same thing as 4 times x divided by 5. It's the exact same thing. However, 4 fifths times 15, we should remember this. You guys should remember this. What happens when you multiply a fraction times a whole number? You change your fraction to a whole number and you multiply it across. 4 times 15 is 60 divided by 5. 60 divided by 5 equals 12. So everybody should know how to multiply a fraction times a whole number. So I get 12 minus 4 fifths x plus 12 equals 4. The next step, after I've simplified them. You guys still waiting? I know, I'm still waiting too. Thank you. Oh, okay. Next thing you need to do is combine like terms. And what I mean by combining like terms is I want you to combine all the x's, combine all the y's, combine all the a squareds with all the a squareds. If they're not like terms, you don't combine them. So I can't combine anything with the x. I can only combine my 12 and my 12. Now be careful. Some of you might say, well, why can't you combine the 12 and the 4? Well, what's happening is they're on the different sides of the equation. So to do anything from this on this side of the equation to the other side is you have to use your properties, your addition property of equality or your subtraction property of equality. Okay? So I, over here, though, I have 12 plus 12. The reason why it's plus 12 is because in front of this number is an addition, so I know it's positive. I know there's a subtraction sign, but if I pull these out, I have a positive 12 plus another positive 12. So that's 24 minus 4 fifths x equals 4. Okay? So now what we have, guys, is a two-step equation. Um, so now, usually the next term is to go ahead and get a variable on both sides, but we only have the variable on one side, so we're okay. But I'm still going to write the step. All right, and then step four, which we should be well versed in, is solve the two-step equation. So to solve the two-step equation, I have to know what's happening to my variable. I look and I say, all right, to this variable, which I'm going to circle it, which you guys remember from solving two-step equations, you circle the variable. Then you want to get everything away from this variable. So I notice, hey, this 24 is being added to my variable. Why is it being added? Because that's a positive 24. So I need to subtract 24 from both sides. Notice I cannot just add 24 and 4 to get 28. You can't do that. You, since you have an equation, you have to use your addition or subtraction properties of equality. So I subtract 24. That gives me 0. So I get a negative 4 fifths x equals 4 minus 24 is a negative 20. Then I go ahead and look over here and I say, well, now I have a fraction. How do we get rid of our fractions? We multiply by the typical reciprocal. Thank you. So I'm going to multiply by negative 5 fourths, because that's going to cancel out the negative signs. 
So negative 5 fourths. And therefore, we go ahead and get um, these cancel out. So x equals, and the one thing you guys can do here is you can just do negative 20 divided by 4 is 5. <coughs> negative 20 divided by 4 is 5, 5 times 5 is 25, or you're going to do 20 times 5 is 100, or negative 20 times negative 5 is negative 100 divided by 4 is a um, positive 25. So the answer for number 19 is a positive 25. So that's how you guys solve an equation using multiple steps.